Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for being here with me. In today's video, I want to share with you a couple of very simple and quick tips to keep the shoulders healthy. A lot of us are still at home, mostly sitting at home. And so I thought it might be very useful to share a couple of these tips. Also, many of you wrote comments in the previous videos or sent me messages or emails on videos like this that just help you with being at home kind of being stuck at home like the entire world is right now so i hope this is helpful and makes you feel better in your body all you need for today and for these exercises is a belt any kind of belt could be your belt that you wear every day for your pants since i'm mostly wearing yoga pants and i don't need a belt i use my jiu-jitsu belt that i brought with me have something in that shape um, nearby we will use that in just a little bit but to begin we kind of stretch out the, the the sides of the neck first so I want you to interlace your hands behind the back I will turn around for that one so you can see me better interlace your hands behind the back then move your hands over to your left hip sit nice and tall and then you relax that left ear down towards the left shoulder you want to breathe into the right side of your neck, that's where, where you are supposed to feel the stretch. But you might have to move the head forward and back to find and target that, that part of your body that really needs it right now. Personally, I like to move the head forward and back a couple more times. Keep the breath going through all of this, very, very important. Let's switch sides, bring the hands over to your right hip, sit nice and tall, keep the hands together, release the right ear down towards the right shoulder. If you want, move the head forward and back a couple times. For this one you don't necessarily need to sit on the ground, that's also a nice one to do while you're sitting in your chair. good let's release I will turn around again so I can see you better let's bring the right hand down to the ground next to you reach that left arm up and over your head for a very simple side bend to the right side you can keep that right arm straight you can also bend it once you hear you rotate the chest more up towards the ceiling Keep pulling the belly in and keep that breath nice and soft. Keep it going. Send three more breaths into the left side of your upper body. So you're really reaching with those hands, those, those the left fingertips, the left hand over your head. And release. Let's switch sides. Bring the left hand down. Reach your right arm up and over your head. Big side bend to the left. Bend your left arm if you want to. Reach more of the right fingertips, pull the belly in, rotate the chest to the right, and breathe. Three more breaths. Nice and slow through the nose. Very good, release, come back to center. Now I will rotate to the side. Stay seated. You bring the back side of your right hand onto your lower back, sit nice and tall, keep spreading those fingers and then you move the hand away from your back, kind of like this and then back onto the back and we're going for 10 of these. So reach back and touch, back and touch, sit, sit nice and tall, look straight ahead, last five, four, Three, two, and one. Very good. We're not doing a crazy workout or anything here today. We're just keeping the body, the shoulders healthy so that you can go back to whatever you took a, took a pause from right now. Other side, left hand to the lower back. Sit tall, look straight ahead or somewhere down with the eyes. Extend and reach back and touch. Back and touch for eight. Seven, six, five, nice and slow, four, three, two, 
and one. Very good, awesome job. I hope that feels good in your shoulders. Now we take the belt, so grab that belt. And you want to, again, sit nice and tall if it's getting uncomfortable to sit on the heels. I do this most of the time for a long time, every day, so for me this is very comfortable. But for you it might not feel good, so you can sit also cross-legged. You can also sit on a chair if you want, you can also stand up. So whatever you need to do to be comfortable, that's the, the highest priority. Then you take that belt in both, both hands. You grab it from the top so the palms would face down. And you start nice and wide, so start a lot wider than your shoulder width. Keep the arms straight, keep the spine nice and long, and then you reach your arms up and over your head. And then you go back behind you as far back and down as you can. So maybe the belt touches your, your lower back or um, kind of like above your butt cheeks. And then you bring the belt back and up and then forward and down. So what happens a lot is that if this especially is challenging and your shoulders are kind of tight, you bring the belt up and then you start to arch your back and you want to avoid that and re resist doing that. This is why you want to keep the core nice and engaged and you look straight ahead so that you counter that, that urge to arch your back, okay? If this felt super simple and easy for you, then you make that grip a little bit shorter. So the shorter you go, the harder this will get. There are some people that can do it this short. I can't, maybe it's you do a story or so and tag me in it, I would love to see it. Otherwise, the, the, the majority of us starts nice and wide, and then the arms straight, you go up, keep the core engaged, and then back and down. You look straight ahead, bring it back up, and then down. So I think this is pretty good width for me. And you go for five. Keep the arms nice and straight. And if that's too challenging for you, then widen your grip again and go even wider. So you want to start wide, like I said before. And then you start to go more narrow until you feel it and until you can basically barely do it, but still with good form. Let's do two more together. So we're going for five, you can also go ten if you want to do this on your own. Very good. Now keep the belt up and over your head with the arms straight. Now with your right hand you pull down so that the left hand goes over up and over your head. If you feel any sharp pain in your left shoulder now, then back off a little bit. That might be too much. You might be hitting bone on bone, which is not what you want. You should feel some kind of stretching sensation in your left armpit or your left shoulder. If you don't feel that and it's just painful, then this one might not be for you. Let's bring the arms up and over your head again, that belt, and then over to the other side. Just a couple of breaths here. Keep the arms straight. Keep the spine nice and long. Keep the core engaged, the breath going. Bring the belt up and over your head and release down. Very good. Shake out the arms a little bit, take a few deep breaths, and be proud of you for making it through this entire video and for doing something so good for your body. Now you can go back to whatever you took a break from, maybe work, maybe walk around a little bit before you do that. Drink some water, stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.